Do what? Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Go ahead, Julie. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's August 2nd, 2022. How's wow. everyone doing? How is your day so far? It is a beautiful Tuesday here in sunny Southern California. My name is Julie. I'm coming to you from Orange County, California. Chris? Hey, and I am Chris Johnson. I'm coming up here from Michigan. Woo, it's been beautiful weather in Michigan. We are excited because today, Today, not only we are we talking about two new YouTubers again, which are, who are they, Julie? Say the names, please. Georgina, Gina, and Grace Manish. It's Georgina, Gina, and Grace Manish. Is that, did I say that properly? Correctly? Yes, you are. No. Okay, I, I, it's hard for me to read neck language when we're on video, but okay. Ladies, hey, ladies, welcome to our Speedy Live. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about freedom and uh what kind of freedoms a passive is going to get us give us take us to and i'm going to let julie win start off with some of her freedoms julie go ahead chris let me ask you this before what's up there because you look like you're looking up there what's up there and you you're eating what are you eating <laughs> it's carrots i apologize i keep forgetting that's my snack I'm trying to lose some weight here. And if I'm looking up, there's only one reason I'm looking up. That's to say, God help me out here. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Finish chewing That's that That's my freedom. Up. That's my freedom. <laughs> All right. Finishing up chewing that carrot, Chris. Okay. Um, absolutely. Um, today, we want to talk about freedom. And uh, when talking about freedom, many of us thinking it indifferently, right? So the question is, what is freedom for you? Are you free from the obligations? Or are you freeing from your day-to-day -day jobs? Or you are freeing from, or you have freedom to do what you want, when you want, and how you want it. So today, I choose to go out there and play basketball, shooting just basketball. That's the kind of freedom that I want to do today. I can do that anytime I want. And thanks God, I have the ability to do that. Thanks God, I have the time to do that. And, you know, looking through the path of being a mom, I have to say that I'm so blessed to be able to have that freedom to spend time with my daughters, to pick them up, take them to places when they need to, just to be there with them. And I'm full, I feel so blessed to do that. And I know that there are so many people are supporting and also giving us that type of ability to do that. And so that's a kind of freedom that I want to talk about. What about you, Chris? What kind of freedom are you talking about today? Well, first of all, let me tell you. I happened to be on the phone with a few others when uh, Miss Julie Wen was playing basketball, and it was it was actually it was cute and it was funny because Julie was actually making baskets. There was one problem; they must have put a new like uh, net on it, and the ball kept getting stuck. So Julie says, "Guys, I need help." But what's the matter? What? Someone hurt you? What? What? No, the ball <laughs> stuck. What do you mean the ball stuck? So she turns on her camera, <laughs> and there's the ball in the net. Now it gets better. It gets more funny because Julie needs to figure out how am I going to get that ball in the net? Now, Julie's not very tall. I think she's all about three feet, seven inches. She's real short. I'm just joking. And uh, so she decided to try to jump. That didn't work out too good. She got maybe this far from it. <laughs> it was, and we can see all this. I don't think she realized, hey, you know, we can see it trying to jump up and down. So then I said, before I said it, she said, I'm going to take out my shoe. And I go, take off your shoe. She took off her, her thongy or whatever you call it, her slipper. Flip -flop. Or flip flop. Sorry, we call them thongs here. Her flip flop. She didn't take off her thong on camera. No, it was a flip flop. It was a shoe. She took it off her shoe. And of course, she proceeded to throw it at the ball. And of course, she missed it by a mile. The shoe went way over there. Next thing you know, you see Julie's little feet running over. <laughs> they get the shoe. She comes back. And we're all trying to figure out what is she doing 
She throws it again and misses it completely. You can see in the distance this, this, this flip flop flopping all over the ground. It was actually pretty funny. And that's a freedom. Uh, that was what Julie's freedom she did today. And it was nice. How many times have you been at work and uh, and just said, man, man, I wish I was home playing catch with my kid or shooting hoops with my kid or swimming with my kid. And because of work, you just couldn't do it. You had to wait for hours. By the time you got home, the temperature dropped down a little bit. You know, it got a little colder. You got home, your kid didn't want to do it anyway. And that's called the freedom. See, my freedom is, which I haven't even started yet. That's the truth. I want to go fishing. I want to go metal detecting. Everyone, if you don't know, I love to treasure hunt. I just haven't done it in, in a couple of years uh, due to the pandemic and my mom and all that stuff. But now I'm about ready to get out and start doing it. Uh, that's freedom. But I want you to have that same freedom. Just think about anything you enjoy. And then you got to wait because you got to go to that job. And I used to do, go to my job, come home and spend two or three hours metal detecting. And by the time it's 11 o'clock, I'd come home, take a shower, go to bed, go back to work. I'm like, man, it's going to be so nice where I can just go metal detecting anywhere I want. I don't have to worry about a clock, tick tock, tick tock, drive me insane. I don't have to worry about running somewhere. That's the freedoms I think we all wanted. Think about it. How many of you, how many guys, I'm going to say guys and gals, because gals have definitely stepped up their games lately, are building a deck on your backyard. Or maybe you're redoing your house or, or a room in your house. And you, you take a little bit of time uh, because you got to go to work. Oh, man, I got to go to work. Man, you say to yourself, if I didn't have to go to that job, I could have had this done. I could have been starting another room, right? And the ladies, you're out there. Re re I know Julie used to like doing that kind of stuff, all right? And just think about it. That's that freedom I, I like that I think about is what could I have got done if I didn't have that J-O-B? And guess what? With a passive, all those products, products, all those projects you have for freedom, uh, going out with your family, playing catch, maybe shooting some hoops like uh, Super Julie there. She's, we're now calling her, uh, let's see, who's that bad? We're calling her Shaq. We're calling Marty called her Shaq. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal, if you don't know, and she's a real short, and I'm going to hook that up with Shaq and Julie, and you're going to see how big Shaq really is, or how tiny Julie really is. It's be fun. So, but Julie, there's just a couple. Back to you. Back to you. I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat another carrot. Hold on. I don't consider myself as tiny, but anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I honestly, um, you know, every, all of us, our entire life, we are working toward freedom freedom of time, freedom of financial freedom type of, uh, freedom of, you know, relationships, freedom of everything that we are doing. So let, let me ask you guys, and let me want to suggest to everyone who are listening to this, maybe if you want to write down, what does freedom means to you? What do, what type of freedom are you talking about? Do you want to be free of something? Do you want to be free from your illness? Do you want to be free? What are, what are those type of freedom that you are talking about? Or are you looking for uh, to be free from a toxic relationship? What kind of freedom are you talking about? So truly, I would like you to prepare yourself. How are you going to be able to enjoy that freedom, whatever that freedom that you have? So today, the topic is really just about freedom. For me, the freedom equation, which I do have that, and I feel like that kind of freedom is something that you would truly have the ability to do something right? Ability to travel, ability to spend more time with your family. Uh, you have the ability to, to, to do what you want, to go out there and build those projects that Chris is talking about. So what are your, what are your type of freedoms are you talking about? You know, it would be great if we all kind of write down to down and, and you're currently watching on Facebook and YouTube right now, please type in the comments. What I, what type of freedom it's like, what are you looking for? So if you could, if you would type it in the chat right now, we're going to be reading out some of our friends that put in freedoms, the type of freedom that they're looking for. All right. So, so Chris, you're going to take, um, I'm going to take um, Facebook. And if you want you can take YouTube and kind of shout out some of type of freedom that people are looking for. Right. So I wanted to say hello to all of our friends who are watching right now. 
right now on Facebook and on YouTube. Welcome. Thank you so much for jumping on here with, Julie, with us. Um, Julie, yes. Julie, can yeah. I take Facebook and you take YouTube? Because I'm on Facebook and I can't find the YouTube. Sure. sure. Absolutely. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you're uh, ready to go. Before I do that, can I say one more little true story? Okay. Sure. Uh, I would say 20, 25 years ago, I... Well, I started working at Ford and Mazda in 1987. Okay. Remember I got a job. I thought I was the greatest. I was, the, I was the, the shiznick. Let's put it that way. Great job. Great insurance. Uh, started a family, got married, had kids, you know, typical, typical, typical. My kids are growing up. I became a basketball coach for my son. Big dream of mine, be a coach for my kids. And, and I don't know if I think I told the story a long time ago, this broke my heart. I was on working for Fords. I was on the A, the A shift, we call it, the day shift. And I just got this coaching job with my son. And two people had bumped from the afternoon shift to day shift and knocked me back to the afternoon shift. To tell my son that I couldn't be his coach broke my heart and it broke his heart, literally. And I said, son, I don't have a choice. I have to go. It's, it's my job. That's how we have houses and boats and cars and everything like that. But I'm going to tell you what. If I could get anyone in this world and any family, any father, mother that never had to do that or never has to do it again because I'm passive, please listen to me. That was one of the most heart wrenching things I ever had to go through to sit there and explain to my son that I'm not your coach no more. Daddy's got to go to work on another shift. And I remember his first game. He said, hey, dad, come on. Come on. I said, Joe, I'm not your coach no more. I'm not your coach, buddy. And that was heartbreaking to me. I don't want anyone. And I know there's a lot of moms out there, single moms and single dads that have to go to work and they can't always make sure or they can't always make their kids functions. And that's heartbreaking. God, if anything, if anything, that's one of the big reasons that I love a passive because it's going to give you that freedom myself and Julie are talking about. All right. To say, I don't have to miss my kids function. Hey, son. Hey, daughter. Yeah, I could be your coach. Uh, let's do this. Well, let's make it happen. We can, yeah, we could go to camp for a week with you and the Girl Scouts and the Boy Scouts and, and have fun because I don't have to worry about a J-O-B. That's the kind of freedoms that I like talking about. All the other things are pluses as far as it comes to freedoms. And I absolutely love that. But think about it. I guarantee you in all your lives, there was one time being a parent that you couldn't make a function for your kid and it was heart-wrenching. Whether it was one of you or both of you, it's still S-U-C-K-E-D sucked. I spell that That's right. right, Chris. That, so. that, that is so true, Chris. And, and yes, you shared a story, um, what, what, you know, what involved children in there. And I, I want to also share a story is that when I first got married to uh, my children's father, uh, and what we decided at that time was, you know, we're going to have a family, one of us going to be working and the other, the, the other one's going to be spending time because we don't want both parents. That's a kind of mentality that we have when we had our children. So then, you know, obviously income wasn't enough. We had our own house and then we have to decide, okay, who's going to work. Right. So then we started, one of us starting to go to work. And then when we have kids coming, we're like, oh, we can't really afford to have one at home. Yes, I took a whole year to raise my first daughter, but then it's hard. And I don't, I, I don't, I didn't see that there is a freedom for me to do it. So then I have to put my daughter to school and then I had to go back to work. But you know what? with that mindset of, I want to be able to be there for my children, take them to dances, take them to a gym practice, take them to sport. And that's the role that I am playing right now. Do whatever it takes for me to be able to do that. Therefore, so many of us here, every time when you call me, I'm always in the car driving because kids always have something to do. And I have to say, I'm so blessed to have that opportunity, to have that freedom to be able to do that. Many of us who do wish to have that, but not be able to do. So on passive, give us the opportunity to do that, right? So then now, what kind of freedom are you looking for? So I'm gonna call out some of our friends here on YouTube. And then if you want, you could take Facebook, Chris. Ava Diaz, so good to have you here. My Andrew Sherry Dursaway, Virginia, good to have you here as well. There's another friend that called Opportunity. Good to have you, Pat Perrin. 
So good to have you here as well. Holly uh, goes by Bug Phillips. What she's saying is that I, I saw her, what she's saying here, freedom is to be able to, hold on, hold on, I lost it. You know, a uh, pet parent, she wants to have freedom to make just bread and buns and then to give away half of, of, of what she's building, right? And then um, Virginia to say, you know, she wants to have the energy to do. And then Holly, Holly said freedom means going to be able to travel to see my grandchildren. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. You could do that, Holly. The youngest one just turned a year old in July and I've never held her. And her son is a military. Holly, we appreciate what you are doing to this country and uh, appreciate. And, and yes, you will have that freedom. You will be able to hold your youngest um, your, your grandchildren in your arm very soon, right? And then who else? Uh, M. Kaylee, good to have you here. Uh, Sherry Dursaway, freedom to travel with her daughters and 100% being healthy, right? Every one of you could put in your, what, what, what else? What are your freedom to do? Pet parents that freedom to travel in a motorhome across the world one day at a time and stop wherever we want and want to share God's words around the world and listen to these prayers and laughter. This is beautiful. Do John Lucas say freedom for me would be, I want to earn six, seven figure income. That's another type of freedom. I want to take three, four times vacations around the world, right? Um, there, there, there are so many of us here. George, good to have you here. Um, Let's see, uh, it, it's jumping very fast. Prasen Jit Biswad, good to have you here, George. Uh, Luca Kamwa, good to have you here as well. Um, Ava said, freedom for me is not being hindered financially into doing other stuff for other, right? She's enjoying being herself. She's enjoying helping other people as well. Chris, go right ahead and take it from us. Um, Hello, okay. Timmy Johnson, who's here. I'm well. going to do this real quick, but I want to make a quick announcement. Nine o'clock tonight, we have Oblast. That's less than an hour. This young man got to take a shower, Joe. Don't miss that. That link's in the back office. It's also posted on my Facebook. Ash Bafar did put a phenomenal message in the back office today. Plug in your black office, open it up, and boom, there's the message. Read it, need it, see it, feel it, love it, and hang on, baby, because the ride's getting better. All right. Let me say some hi, Anna. Julie wins Facebook. Uh, Sam Pat Patel, what's happening? Hey, Arthur Gully, I hope you had a wonderful birthday yesterday, my brother. Good to see you on here. Marcin, uh, Hamabo, always dancing. Every time I turn on my phone, I see Marcin dancing somewhere, every single place. Elsie Patch, what's happening? She wants to hang out with her grandbabies. Of course we do. Of course, that's the only time we get to hang out with our children or grandchildren after retire, after 30 some years. Huh, think about it. Arthur Gully, Roy Davies. Whoa, I made him a rock star. Roy Davies is mentioned everywhere because of that little two minute powerful word video clip. Roy, my man, I told you. Uh, whoo, ha ha, my junior, Ramon. Hi, Diane, Ghana, good to have you here. I just want to throw out some more names that I miss. I think you, I think we got out. Terry Thompson's on your Facebook. Hello, Terry, the angel from California. Hello, Terry. Yeah, and Kelly, Which like I said, shatter? I said something funny today. I thought I walked out, went to the store today, opened the door. There was M. Kelly. I went back to the gas station, went in the gas station. There's M. Kelly. Everywhere I go, that lady, every, I don't know how she does it, but welcome again, M. Kelly. I love you, M. Kelly. And Timmy Johnson, thank you so much for the beautiful background. We have the funny one coming up on Friday. We're going to show it off <laughs> to you. <laughs> thank you so much, Timmy Johnson. <laughs> I think I got everybody. If I missed it, Mark Myers, Stephen Robertson, and my my bang, Roy Davis, Patricia Tang, Sam Pat, good to have you, Heron oh. Kamal, Stephen Robinson, my dear Andrew Terry Thompson, Patricia uh, Shawner, above Buva Man Manmar, M Kaylee, love you, sister. You are always here, Elsie Pat, uh, Tanya Hennard, 
Majunro, uh, Majunro is watching also. K Mao, good to have you. Good job last night, K Mao. Cat Mo, good to have you here as well. Okay. Thanks so much, everyone, for joining us today. Uh, remember, uh, oh, bless webinars tonight. Orsha Shaka, good to have you here. Jocelyn L Lydia, good to have you here as well. Lynn Johnson Bach, so good to see you here, Lynn. Have a great time. I see your family is going out there and having a lot of fun. Uh, stay. Create your own freedom, guys. It's going to happen. Key, good to have you here. Key window here. Roberto Rivera, Mark Myers, good to have you. Simon De, De Silva, uh, no, Sinson De Silvia, good to have you as well. Thanks so much for joining us. Milor, uh, Marcian, good to have you. Yeah, she's going and dancing a lot. We love it. Zoran, good to have you as well. I'm just going to keep going if you're not jumping in. Florida. No, I'm jumping in, but I don't want to be Bobby. rude and cut the lighting off because Sam Patel says, Mr. Chris, come on, just do it. I'm like, do what? Come on, Chris, you can do it. I know what he's talking about. Hey, 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 hey. Captain Chris Johnson and Julie Wen are saying, welcome to the Speedy Live. There you go, Sam Pat. That was just for you. Bobby Durag, good to have you, my, bro my Bobby brother. Bobby Durag, what's happening, brother? Yes, he's on. He's on here with us. Flora Dave, so good to have you. Charuku, good to have you. If I miss you, I'm apologize. We're going to move forward uh, because um, uh, OBLESS is coming up in about 45 minutes. And remember, First tomorrow hour. is on Passive 360. Ken Russo is going to be there. And who knows, a surprise guest going to be there. Uh, also, on Thursday, uh, our CEO, Mr. Mufar, will have a meeting with us. Please, please continue to log into your back office. There's a beautiful message of our CEOs there. If you cannot get into your back office right now, please give it a couple hours. Go back in. There's a lot of things that's moving on. Take your time and be patient. Julie, All right. What is wrong with you today? You forgot something so important, and I can't believe you forgot it. What is the matter with Julie Wynn? All I want to know, what's tomorrow because at 7.30? I, I'm, I'm shooting basketball all day, so it's kind of flying around. I got to bring okay, it all back. Hear, hold on. Hold on. Let me pass the ball. I'm going to boink it off the back of your head. Boink. What's tomorrow at 7.30? Very special. Very important. 7.30 at 7. 7.30 is something that is coming. It's new. It's beautiful. And it's fun. And if you remember, F U N. From, um, I'm going to call her uh, Susie Mufara because <laughs> uh, Susie McCray and uh, Ash Mufara are like twins, right? So Susie Mufara and Ash McCray. I'm going to call them both that from now <laughs> on. Um, Susie and Julie are going to have a brand new fun things going on. So tomorrow at 7.30 p.m., Please go to the top dot live for you to catch that. Okay, it's going to be a live stream from our own uh, Susie's home and Julie home. It's going to be beautiful. We are launching something that uh, we don't know. We're not going to tell you yet until tomorrow. So it's at seven thirty p.m. Uh, go to the top dot live and you'll be able to see what's going on. All right. Plug into those 20 YouTube channel. It's going to be valuable. It's going to be beneficial and it's going to be so fun. You're going to love it. Looking forward to tomorrow with a Julie Nguyen and a Susie Mufara. <laughs> <laughs> Susie Mufara. All right. We got to talk about our two ladies because this old man got to get in the shower. I got to Singing in the rain. I gotta, I gotta look pretty for the old blast. You know about I look pretty. Absolutely. Oh, Thank goodness. you so much, everyone, for joining us today. We appreciate you plugging in. A lot of our friends here didn't see the speedy live and texting and said, Are you girls doing live today? We do, and we do hope that this live portion really makes your evening or your day. We appreciate you and we love you very much. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Julie from Orange County, California, and Chris is from Michigan. We love you. Take care, everyone. Don't forget to, to subscribe to all the YouTube channels, guys, especially the two brand new ladies this week. Julie will post it in the back office immediately because last night we were so busy we forgot to post the Speedy Live, but it's up there now. 
Julie's going to put this in there. Click on everyone that you see underneath our names. Click and share. Like, heart it. Click it. The, the, subscribe to their YouTube channels. Very important. Ladies. Also, Julie, a when? reminder, an important reminder. <laughs> if you have a pending positions and you'll be able to transfer, make sure you do that. And a lot of people say, can I buy them? Yes, you absolutely can buy them if you are if you can afford. If you have friends, families, or anyone that you know who has the quality of a leaders, I've talked about this on in the Bangladesh webinar this morning. The core qualities of the leaders that are who are selflessness, empathy, willing to run in the fire when there is fire, and also in one passive, willing to lift up humanity. Those are three qualities that we are looking for as a on passive founders. And if you have someone out there like that, for actually someone out there like that, please share on passive uh, founders positions. They can buy it. Anyone can buy a pending positions. Remember, many of us still have 2020 pending positions. Chris has, I do, I have them to get back to one of us, to many of us, any one of us out there for a pending positions. All right. Thank you so much. We should end this now. <laughs> have a great so. day, everyone. Captain, you've got to get in the shower. <laughs>